So hyperinflation is kicking in around the world and governments continue to do one thing. Printing more cash, pumping more toxic liquidity into the markets. With the worldwide inflation being at the highest in decades and the rising cost of living, it's no doubt we're all feeling very tight squeezed with our money. The world is moving forward in ways we never imagined. The governments around the world are in a huge debt crisis and recession is lurking around the corner. The governments are trying to keep the economy afloat by raising interest rates in order to control the staggering inflation. With interest rates hikes, it's likely to impact all of us. Whether you're paying your mortgage and are soon up for a renewal, or you're lending money from the banks, everything is getting more and more expensive. It's a scary time, and that's why I'm here. I have many years of financial experience, and I'm here to give you as many tips as I know to give you the best ways to manage your money. Do you ever feel short of money, not knowing how to best utilise it, and not knowing what your financial position is at any one given time? I used to be like that, but then I started to use a simple method, a method that everybody should try and use. You can use it on Excel or you can have it in a notepad and it's a method called budgeting. Creating a simple budgeting spreadsheet gives you an, a snapshot in, at any one given time of your finances and how well you're doing. You can see your free cash flow at the end of the month and you can see how much you can save or spend given your costs. So I've been using that budget spreadsheet for many years and it's a great way to find out your cost contributors, which costs are the highest for you per month and what you can do to try and bring them down. Utility costs have been rising throughout the lockdown and even to in today's time. And one of the things I do suggest to everybody is to use comparison websites to compare the costs that you're actually paying and what you could be paying. Using these simple websites like comparethemarket.com, you can get a gauge of how much you're actually paying and whether you could be saving any money or not. I use these websites quite a lot and I recommend everybody else does as well. You could save a staggering between 10 to 15% quite easily if you're in tune and happy to switch over to different providers. My recommendation is to give it a go and to definitely message me back to see how it, how it went. <music> Subscription services. These are services that you know re you don't really need, um, or you can do without, or you can reduce. Subscription services include Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV. It can even be a food subscription service, um, like a coffee service that you you have on a monthly basis, which you rarely even use. These are some things that you need to pay attention on in order to bring down your outgoings, giving you a better opportunity to save more money on a monthly basis. I would recommend looking at this in detail as much as possible and finding out what you can do to save as much money as possible. With the rising costs of electric, gas, and many other utilities, it's always good to switch off your appliances. This could save you many hundreds of pounds or dollars a year and you wouldn't even realise it. 
definitely give it a go. I've saved nearly 150 pounds by doing small little things like switching off my TV at the end of the night. Doing these simple little things on a monthly basis can save you many hundreds of dollars or pounds, whatever currency you use around the world. I highly recommend you sit down, look at your finances and start doing all the things that I've mentioned.